babies, breakups, and botched nose jobs are just some of what's been making news this season on Vanderbilt Rules. And lucky for us, they are letting us come along for the crazy ride. Take a look. Brock has two kids. He hasn't spoken to them in four years. Schwartz and I are opening up our own bar. It's a complete show. Keep her out of it. It's, it's my body. I'm the one that has to look at your face. Sorry, you guys are so dumb, you can't figure it out. Tens, come on, man. We're done, we're done. This is just a fucking firework waiting to explode. Already has. I mean, it's exploding all the time, and Tom and Ariana are with us now. Good to see you guys. Good yeah, to see you. Good to see you. So listen, Tom, t season nine, nine seasons of Vanderpump Rules, what do you think it is that keeps people coming back? Um, I think it's our connection as friends. You know, we've really, I mean, we knew each other before we were going into this show, and you've really got to watch us sort of go from you know, sort of irresponsible kids to, you know, irresponsible I was going to say, say a new word. Yeah. Yes. I missed that episode. Yeah. <laughs> but Ariana, you know, we hear about a new breakup. Uh, they're not the only ones getting broken up, but Jamie and Raquel called off their engagement. Well, what is that? How do you guys keep this, this bond strong with a reality show? Because I feel like that's just adding fuel to any relationship fire. I don't know. Honestly, I do think that sometimes being on the show with, with each other forces us to kind of work through those things that normally I'm the kind of person that I'd be like, I'm just annoyed, I'm gonna ignore you, Walking away. check out, walk yeah. away, but I feel like we're forced to confront certain things. Yeah, well, and you've also been very open this season about your decision to freeze your eggs, which a lot of women are having this discussion, but maybe not in public. Mm. Uh, so why do you wanna make that something that you wanted to share with everyone? Um, you know, I live my life as an open book, and yeah. so, you know, if someone asks me a question, I'm always going to give them the answer, you know, so I, I didn't want to hide that. Um, also, it was just something that I, I want to have that agency, that control. I want yeah. to be in the position where no matter what happens, all my ducks are in a row. Yeah, no, I think it's a smart move, <laughs> but um, Tom, you guys just taped the reunion which I feel like is always probably a stressful moment is to take oh. the reunion. But, you know, now that we're wrapping up season nine, you know, what can we expect? Uh, well, I mean, the reunion was, uh, it was pretty intense, per usual. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's oh, a, yeah. It's a very long day of filming. We're usually sitting in those chairs anywhere between, like, you know, eight to ten hours. Um, yeah. So it, it's really getting into the nitty gritty of what you said about fun. me and yeah. yeah, all that stuff. Are right, there's snacks on sex? I feel like I would get hangry and then stuff would just. Come I out. can't yes. eat. Plus, I always feel like I'm wearing something tight, and I'm like, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> my shapewear. I gotta yeah. keep it yeah. <laughs> looking uh, smooth. I guess you'd say. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, you guys have a lot of other things going on too. I mean, Ariane, tell me what D F H is. So during the pandemic. Excuse me, obviously we've all become very accustomed to the phrase WFH, work from home. Yeah. Um, so DFH stands for drink from home, and it is a cocktail box where I'm giving you everything you need to make one of my amazing original cocktails. And along with that, also something that makes it more of an experience. I've curated playlists, made drinking games. I'm looking for people, I always say this, I'm looking for people to either make out by the end of the night, yeah. or maybe get in a fight. <laughs> and then they'll be on their own reality show. <laughs> drama either way. Exactly. Yeah, good drama or bad drama. And Tom, you're taking the world by storm with your music, <laughs> with your band. What's going on with the band? Will we see an album anytime soon? Um, so we had our first show. We've only been a band for roughly like three and a half months. We had our first show at Hotel Cafe. We sold out pretty quickly. It was a, it was a blast. Yeah. As an audience yeah. member, it was a blast. Awesome. And we, we cover everything from 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. And, you know, I will actually be working on some original music music again um, but I I like cover bands because you know and we do we have a people know uh, the songs they exactly. want to sing along they don't have yeah. to be into my music they can come and listen to music <laughs> and are that, they drinking this while they're yes, listening to you some, some good loving some Tom's good loving we have a port blended bourbon which uh -huh. is blended with port wine oh, so um, is it a little sweet yeah not it's not Just it's a hint very, it's a hint it's like if somebody if your significant other was drinking port wine and, and you gave them a kiss oh interesting. and then we have a rye over here and they're both 
you know, 90 proof, uh, really easy to drink, uh, very reasonably priced, uh, you know, we're $30 a bottle. Busy, nice, busy. Nice. You're both very busy, so thanks for taking the time to stop in today. Yeah, thanks for having us. You can catch Vanderpump Rules every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. on Bravo. And for more info on Ariana and Tom's cocktails, follow them on social media. And thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks, thanks for, for having us. us.